Hello, Royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of Royal News and Analysis. Before we move on to any further details, I would really love to thank all of you, each and every one of you, for your enormous love and support. And in case you haven't subscribed yet, I mean, what are you waiting for, guys? Hit that subscribe button now. Also, please don't forget to press that bell icon. Royal fans have been showing love over Prince Edward as they want him to become the next Duke of Edinburgh, the title which was previously given to Prince Philip in 1947. The Earl of Wessex recently made headlines with his visit to Newcastle to express his gratitude for their service at Queen Elizabeth's funeral last month. Reacting to Edward's recent official visit, fans took to social media to express that the late Queen's youngest son should be given the title. Sincerely hope that Earl and Countess are made Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh. They worked so hard for our country, a Twitter user Karen Smith wrote. On the other side, the royal spoke earlier today at Welcoming Ceremony for the Duke of Edinburgh's International Award, Forum 2022. Earl of Wessex is currently the chairman of the award, which was founded by Prince Philip in 1956. Addressing the delegates at the ceremony, Prince Edward said, We are here because we're a family. We try to support each other, and we really do care about what we do. He said the award's overall goal is to guide young people to set and overcome challenges and to learn and to achieve, to find their purpose and their passion and their place in the world. The aim of the 2022 Forum, Prince Edward told delegates, is to improve the award through its reach, its access and its impact. He added, we are forever striving to reach young people, regardless of circumstance or ability. This is why we are here and why the next few days matter so much. For who knows how many more young lives we can touch as a result of this forum. How many young people might never discover their infinite potential. And how many more can be world ready. The Duke of Edinburgh's award is currently present in more than 130 countries and territories around the world. With up to a million young people taking part. Prince Edward himself completed the Duke of Edinburgh's Gold Award in 1986. So what do you guys think about this news? Do you also promote Prince Edward as our new Duke of Edinburgh? Or what do you think? Write it down in the comments section below and let me know. Until then, I guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turn out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my Sizzling Royal updates, like this, subscribe, press that bell icon. It's as simple as that. So until next time, guys, hasta la vista.